Yay, there's Heather. Okay, hi. All right. Welcome to our, our session here honoring um, veterans. Hey, On everybody. Friday, it's uh, Veterans Day, actually, um, this Friday. This Friday, yeah. Yeah, so we found out that it's actually Friday. Um, we were doing a tribute to veterans today for our work in session. Um, and uh, one of the things, um, there was a couple of veterans that were going to, that were coming, um, and they weren't able to come. So I was going to give just a little bit of, um, a little, like a little shout out to them for serving our yeah, country sure. and stuff. Yeah. Um, and also, um, you had mentioned um, about uh, to honor veterans for a discount until Friday. Oh yeah. If so you tune into a session. Yeah. If you're watching this, since this is um, our tribute to veterans and our thank you for serving our country, um, anyone watching this, um, whether you're a veteran or not. Um, we want to honor you as well. Get 10% off your purchase using the coupon VETERANS2016. Yeah. No space in between. All one chunk. VETERANS2016. I'll post it up above after this is over. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that, that, that way you can get 10% off your purchase. Yeah. So um, one of the gentlemen that, that was going to be here, his name is John Villix. He um, is a cousin to me. Um, and he uh, was in the Marines. He was in the Marines for four years serving our country. Um, at 19, he joined the service and he um, joined Special Forces when he was 20. So he started off in, um, where did he start off? Oh, in Somalia for Black Hawk Down, after yeah. Black Hawk Down happened. He came in to help, they, um, to help the military um, gain control again. He also went to Haiti when um, Haiti was overthrowing the government. And then from there for the next four years, he went to like Japan, Okinawa, Argentina. Um, he was a corporal and he had 13 people um, in his squad. So we just want to give him a shout out for Yay. his service and what he's done for us. Yeah. <laughs> and Remembering Veterans Day was intended to thank our retired military members um, uh, who are still living and acknowledge their contributions versus where Memorial Day is usually honoring the people who have, who have passed away right. in the act of yeah. service. Right. Um, one of the other people that were coming was my father, Tim Aww. Bauer. Um, he joined the reserves. Hi, Dad. <laughs> yeah, I did. He joined the reserves at 16 um, and drilled one weekend a month during his senior year. Um, he went on active duty after graduation, spent one year in combat zone in Vietnam on a, um, on a destroyer. It was the U.S. Um, the U.S. Steiner. Um, he received Navy. Um, Letter and got a uh, got a performance of duty while serving in Vietnam, um, and another another person that was coming. His name is Joe Zingales. He was in Vietnam. I don't know all his details, but he did do get a Purple Heart. Oh, nice. Yeah. So awesome. Thank you for those couple, and there's many more. Um, and so we appreciate all of you yes. guys. Um, so today we're going to start because one of the things for Veterans Day is to. Um, is to have a moment of silence. So we'll start on our blocks today. Awesome. Um, and you can just start in a, in a seated meditation um, <clears throat> and have your legs crossed and your hands down to the sides and, or have your palms face up, right? Whichever one will bring you into, into the moment, into what needs to happen for you. And normally through our meditation, I will speak but for right now, let's just take that moment to reflect, right? A moment of quiet, appreciation, and um, gratitude.
yourself a big breath in and a breath out. And reach your arms out and to the sides and elongate and take up space, right? And breathe in and let your palms come to touch above your forehead and then bring them down into your heart center. Let your thumb knuckles press into your sternums and sit up just a bit taller, right? And take a full breath in and a full breath out. Let your arms reach out to the sides again and take a breath in. Flesh. <laughs> And palms come to touch and bring that into your heart center, right? The two sides of our being, the celebration of who we are and our freedom. And one more, arms reach out to the sides, reach up, inhale. Our opportunities of hope for what will happen. All right, and let your palms come down. Remove your block to the side. If you had a block today, I brought some blocks for us. Um, and let them come off to the side. Let your palms face down, curl your toes, and push back into your down dog, right? And you can walk your dog here. Um, <clears throat> Santi, who is our shipping manager, her hamstrings are excessively tight, which um, is a thing for her. And so um, today she asked for hamstring stretches, so we will yeah. do those, okay? All right, so take a breath in here. Feel the elongation of the back of your hamstrings there and the length of them. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Now take the right leg and feel length in the right leg and reach it up towards the ceiling. All right, now bring it in towards your thumbs and place your uh, foot between your thumbs. And go ahead and grab your blocks and place your blocks on either side of you. This is one of those spots like Trina had talked about in one of our other classes that if you have water bottles, this is a great one. Now, I like to put them up to the higher level and then lengthen my heart and reach through my um, arms and then squeeze the inner thighs and then lift the knee away. Yeah, girls, get it! Okay, now rock forward and back just a little bit, right? So you're not going much past 90 and more of the energy is on the back of the heel, like your Achilles tendon is being elongated. All right, now let the knee just drop slightly, knee drops, and then lengthen through again. Great, and knee drops, and lengthen through, right, and now great. Now, Lauren, squeeze your thighs and only let the knee drop. Not so much of your whole body, but just the knee. And then lengthen through. So try to keep the right knee solid where it is. And then just the knee. Yes. And lengthen through. One more time. Just the knee. And lengthen through. Now stretch the front leg with the head drop. Take a breath in. And a breath out. All right. Take your blocks and place them to your side. Step into your high plank. Let the rush of the right side rush in. Let your knees drop lower down. Let the toes release. Up and tough dog. Set to back to down dog. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Left leg reaches high. Inhale. Step it through between your thumbs again. Then bring your um, blocks to the sides of you. Or bring your blocks to the long, to the lengthwise, right? Squeeze your inner thighs. Feel length through your heart. Let your body rock forward and back forward and back. Now now come to center, squeeze your inner thighs and then lift the kneecap. Beautiful, good, oh my gosh, that was so great, Santi. Right, she, she honed into her confidence and her strength and she lengthened her leg. Take a breath in. <laughs> so much confidence. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. All right, so here we go. The right knee is gonna drop to the ground just slightly and I'm not doing much there's not much happening with my left leg, right? So I'm not like popping my booty up and down. It's just so much about the left leg. All right, lengthen the right leg. Drop it down. Lengthen the leg. Drop it down. And one more, lengthen the leg. And drop it down. All right, now lengthen the leg, straighten the front leg. Let your head drop. Take a breath in. And the breath out. Let your blocks come to the sides of you and then pick up that left foot and then let it all rush in and feel the length. Let your body rock forward, come on down, lower down. Let the toes release, slide the hands back, lift up and tough dog. Send it back to down dog. Take a breath in and a breath out. Lift your heels, bend your knees. Let's make our way to the front of the mat. Rise up on an inhale, palms into your heart center and an exhale, shoulders drop. Moment of reflection, of gratitude, of hope. 
hands come down to the sides. Take a breath in. I am thankful. Exhale your mantra, what you are thankful for. Inhale, I am thankful. Exhale, hands come down, your mantra. Knees drop down, lower your body down, slide your toes, slide your hands, lift up, up dog. Send it back down, dog. Right leg reaches high, inhale. Right foot steps forward, blocks come towards you. <clears throat> right, lengthen through the heart, straighten the front leg, let the head drop. Bend down into that nice low lunge, then lengthen through the leg. Drop down into that low lunge. One more time, lengthen through the leg. Drop down into that low lunge, remove the blocks, step into your high plank to low plank. Lift up into up dog. Send it back to your down dog, right? Lift your heels, bend your knees, step forward, rise up. I am thankful. And your mantra. Rise up on an inhale. I am thankful for our freedom, right? Rise up on that inhale, halfway lift. I am thankful for the service to our country. Lower down, I am thankful for being given the hope and the opportunity of our free will. Left leg reaches high, inhale. Step it through on an exhale. Bring your blocks on in. Squeeze your inner thighs. Lengthen the leg. Let the head drop. Lower down. Inhale. Exhale. Now every time you lengthen, come on down softly. Let your head rise through. Right shoulders knit back. Thighs come together. Yes. Rise it one more time. And then lower on down. Remove your blocks. Step into your high plank. Followed by your low plank. Lift up into up dog. Send it back to your down dog. Lift your heels. Bend your knees, right? Toes come to touch into your heart center. You take the moment to reflect. Drop your hands down. Inhale. I am thankful. Exhale. What you need to manifest. Inhale halfway. Exhale. Hands come on down. Step into your high plank. Low plank. Up dog. Send it back to down dog. Right leg reaches high, inhale. Step it through, dial the back foot down, rise up to warrior one. And then up and open into your warrior two. Right hand forward, left hand back. Bend into the front leg there. Yeah. Shoulders, <laughs> softness in the toes. <laughs> okay, what's happening, is it tightening? Yes. Okay, <laughs> so, so make your stance a little shorter. There you go. Okay. And then, okay. yeah, that should be a little better okay. for you. Take a breath in. She's oh, like, oh my God. Burn. Why did I say hamstrings? I know. I <laughs> okay. Know. So as we, okay, so we're having, you know, like our momentary uh, thing with like our hamstrings or like, oh, it's hot or we're slipping or something. What I was just thinking about, so flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, lift up and back. Now let's do a low lunge twist, left arm down. Use your block, right arm high. This is super great for the hamstrings as well. Take your right arm and bind it back behind you. Is that, okay, like my cousin, right? Well, he's my cousin through marriage. He's married to my very best friend. So but anyways, here he's 19, he joins the service, right? My father, 16, joins the service. And what they did and saw in order for us to be able to do some yoga here in a beautiful facility on a mat and stretch our hamstrings. <laughs> take a breath in and a breath out. All right, take that hand on down. Step into your high plank, followed by a low plank. Lift up into your up dog. There should be a sweet relief. Send it back to down dog. Left leg reaches high, inhale. Step the left leg through, dial the back foot down. Rise up to your warrior one, up and open to your warrior two. Left arm forward, right arm back. Bend into the pose, look forward, your drishti, your energy, your concentration, your whole being, right? Take a breath in, soften your shoulders, Lauren. Reach forward into the front leg, then forward into the front arm. Take an inhale, and a full exhale. And just when we think it's hard, right? We change our brain, we change our lives. Our minds give up a lot faster than our bodies give up. Take a breath in, flip your front palm, 
reverse your warrior, lift up and back. All right, then low lunge twist, right arm down, left arm high, squeeze the inner thighs. 10 toes face the front, 10 toes face the front. Then take the top hand and bind it behind you and stack your shoulders. There's a breath in and a breath out. So stay in this pose. Feel the length of the side of the body. Look over the top shoulder. And if you're sticking your left hip up super high, tuck that hip back underneath you and then squeeze the thighs together. Find a breath in. Ooh, breath out. All right, come on down, high plank. So low plank, up dog, sit down, dive. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step forward to the front of your mat, rise up on an inhale. I am thankful, hands into your heart center, find the reflection for who, what, where, when, or why, right? Here you go, I am thankful, I am thankful. Halfway lift on an inhale. Hands come on down and you step or jump, high plank, low plank. Lift up into your up dog. Send it back to your down dog. Right leg reaches high, inhale. Look for your right pinky finger and land your foot there. If it doesn't arrive, pick it up and bring it there. Let your back knee drop if this is way too intense. <laughs> if not, right, you stay here. Either one that feels super great. You should feel the inner thigh. You should feel the back of the hamstring. Breath in, lift your head up, Tammy, breath out. <laughs> Plug into your hands, plug into your hands. Okay, now right leg reaches back. Inhale, right pinky finger on an exhale, yes? You're trooping through the storm. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, right pinky finger. Full breath in, full breath out. Drop the knee, drop the toes, let the foot roll to the knife edge of the right foot. Take your right hand back and look for your foot. Look for your right foot. If you want to, put your foot into your hand. I don't want to today, but. <laughs> okay, and if you're in that pose, lift out of this. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Aaron, lift out of the shoulder a bit. Yes. And then look over the top shoulder and then lengthen the arm back. Okay. All right, feel the release. <laughs> Let it all go. Let the foot go. Let the hand go. Step into your high plank to low plank. Lift up into up dog. Send it back into your down dog. Left leg reaches high. Inhale. Left pinky finger on an exhale. Plug into your hand. Squeeze your inner thighs. Lengthen through your heart. Feel the breath in. Lift your knee up just a little bit more. more. Yes. <laughs> okay. Inhale. Left leg sweeps back. Exhale. Plant it by the pinky finger. Inhale. It sweeps back. Exhale to the pinky finger. I think this is our last one. Inhale. Reach back. Exhale to your pinky finger. Drop your knee, drop your toes. Let your left foot roll out. Your left hand reaches up and back. And if you want to, grab a hold of your foot. Now, if you like this pose, I'm thinking your hamstrings are tight. Put your Ooh. hand on a block. Yeah. yeah! Nice job. Take a breath in. Again, lift up like a balloon through the space and then lift up and over the shoulder. Yes! Full breath in. Push the foot into the hand. Let this roll a little bit more. Ah. Tammy's like, oh lordy, that happened. All right, come on down. High plank to low plank. Up dog. Child's pose. <laughs> <laughs> full breath in and full breath out. Nice inhale. And exhale. We just get the heart going, we get the mind going. Just like we pay homage, right? We say we're thankful, we're also thankful for ourselves, our bodies, our existence. That's why I always love celebrating birthdays, your existence in this world. Uh, take the fingertips forward, curl your toes, push back into your down dog. Take a breath in here and a breath out. And then lift your heels, bend your knees, and jump through to land on your butt. I'm gonna walk. And roll all the way down. <sighs> right. Nice job. To your arms out to the sides. Let your feet come onto the ground. 
That's all tan. You're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and then let your body drop to the right side and look to the left. And take a breath in here. And a breath out. It's just a few more moments to our class, to our time, to our reflection. And I found this beautiful proclamation for Veterans Day. America has long stood as a beacon of hope and opportunity. And few embody that spirit here at home and beyond our borders more than the members of the armed forces. Soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guards are part of the unbroken chain of brave patriots who have served in our country with honor and made tremendous sacrifices so that we may live free. Come on back to the center point. Let your body drop to the left as you look to the right. On Veterans Day, we salute the women and men who have proudly worn the uniform of the United States of America and families who have served alongside them. <clears throat> We affirm our sacred duty as citizens to express our enduring gratitude, both in words and in actions for their service. Our country has best trained, has the best trained, best equipped military force in the world, and we need to make sure we have the most supported and respected veterans in the world. We are a nation that leaves no one behind, and my end, um, it leaves no one behind. Full breath in, and full breath out. Come on back to the center point and bring your knees into your chest and give them a squeeze, right? And then release your right leg to the edge of the mat and your left leg to the edge of the mat. And then let your palms come down to the sides and face up. The example of our nation's veterans set throughout our lives is a testament to the drive and perseverance that define American character. Let us uphold our obligation to those heroic individuals and never forget those who have paid the ultimate price for our liberty. <clears throat> On this day and throughout the year, may we sustain their lasting contributions to our nation's progress, carry forward their legacy by building a future that is stronger, safer, and freer for all. Set only on November 11th, but different parts of your lives that you can take and recognize the valor and sacrifice of our veterans through appropriate public ceremonies, prayers, and just simple observations. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Inhale, and exhale, soles of the feet to the ground, and uh, you know, take a stroll to your right side of your mat, maybe use your arm as a pillow, and I come back, mind, body, body, mind, spirit, and let's push ourselves up into a simple seat, and press our thumb knuckles into our sternum, and so again, we Thank all of those who have served, who have protected, who have brought us to where we are. And in this time of change in our American history, let's just remember all the things that have brought us to this point and all of the things that have yet to happen. But again, thank you for all you've done. Namaste. Trina for letting us do that today and so that was awesome and thanks to all the veterans and um great job yeah that was
Very good. Um, hey guys, I wanted to show you one oh, thing. Yeah. yeah. Had a close so issue. I don't know if anybody else has issues with their back or their neck. Um, I know when you're standing all day yeah, or sitting at a desk all day, using your cell phone, computers, not very good for posture. And what I have found um, really helps me is wearing a posture brace that nobody can really tell you're wearing anyway. Yeah. And it really does help a little bit with your shoulders. So I wanted to show you guys the one that I have recently Ooh. purchased. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have. Oh, you yeah, you have one of these. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see, but it's the black. And it pulls your shoulders back to keep them more in alignment um, and keep you cognizant if more, more than anything um, that you just need to keep your shoulders back and down. What happens when you start to go? You Does can do that. It pulls it a start? little bit. It's okay. not, this one doesn't pull a ton. It's more of a uh, reminder. I would say okay. more of a reminder than something that's going to actually keep you pulled back because you can, you can still slouch as much as you want. Um, but it's more of a reminder um, because it does pull you back. You're only supposed to wear it initially for like two or three hours right. and then take it off. Um, because it really does help you. Um, so if you're finding that you have strain on your neck, strain on your back, I bought this one off Amazon. It was around 40 bucks. It's got the back piece here. Let me show you how it goes on. So literally, it's real simple. This crosses, this is the piece that comes up and over my shoulders. This one's really nice. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got little straps that help protect. I have purchased these in the past where they're more of a figure eight that just slide around your shoulders and pull back here, but sometimes it cuts in here. So this one's really nice. I don't remember the brand. And then this literally just is um, Velcro. So it's real simple. You can wear it over a t-shirt is how they suggest wearing it or over something just so it's not against your skin and pulling, but it's real simple to put on and you can kind of make it as tight as you want it or as loose as you want it by um, manipulating the pull. Mm -hmm on that so it's real simple real easy but it's a suggestion like I said this one was about $40 on Amazon if I have time um, I'll go back to Amazon find the exact link of the one that this is if you're interested um, that way you know exactly which one I'm talking about so anyway thanks for joining us um, and we'll see you again next weekend or next Wednesday for work in Wednesday um, or yoga work in yoga yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> work in Wednesday work and in. don't forget win it Wednesdays today so go back through the feed I did a live video about the tooth powder holder um, quick reminder tomorrow's the last day to get your pre-orders in for the tooth powder holder it's the only way to order it right now it is at a lower price than it's gonna be on the website it's a really fabulous gift idea and it's just really fabulous for yourself especially if you have young children that like to spill tooth powder all over the counter. I know that's not fun. I have two young children, so it works really well. Um, so that's the last day. You can go to toothpowderholder.com to pre-order that, but that's also the Win It Wednesday gift, so go sign up for oh, that. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, Veterans2016 is the coupon code for 10% off. So anyway, and then there's really something fun coming for Black Friday, so keep that in the back of your head. Something black is coming on black friday so anyway um like comment tag share this with someone you think might love plo and heather bauer <laughs> and the plo natural wonder staff <laughs> and all so thanks guys have a great day Thank you. I'm keeping this. <laughs>